Good morning, friends, and happy Sunday. Once again, we are in the book of Matthew. And just like last week, Jesus is having a conversation with his disciples. And this time, he is talking about his death. Now, Jesus knew what was going to have to take place in order to forgive us of our sins. Jesus knew that he was going to have to die on the cross. And Jesus was was okay with this. He knew it had to be done and he was willing to do that because of his love for us. But when Jesus starts talking to the disciples and especially about his death, he kind of talks in a riddle. He talks in a way that they can only understand small pieces at a time. Part of this I think is because Jesus didn't want to overwhelm them or have them be afraid. I'm not exactly sure. But once again, he and Peter have a pretty intense conversation and Peter just doesn't get it. And he says some things that are inappropriate and I think Jesus gets a little bit frustrated. He uses the word rebuke. And rebuke means ugh, Jesus got pretty mad. And so the reason why I'm telling you these things is, is that sometimes People say things, uh, maybe we don't understand them, sometimes we get mad at them. No matter what happened between Jesus and Peter in their conversation, Peter still loved Jesus with all of his heart, and Jesus still loved Peter with all of his heart. So friends, when you are frustrated or mad at someone, it is okay to feel that way for a little bit, but it is also important to remind yourself and those around you that you still love them no matter what. Remember friends, no matter what we do wrong, no matter how great of our sin, it never ever ever changes how much God loves us. And we see that firsthand between Peter and Jesus the love they have for one another, even though they don't see eye to eye. So friends, this week, if you have a disagreement with someone, remember to still love them. Love them like Jesus would love them. I hope you have a great week, and I look forward to a time when we can be together in person. Let's pray. Gracious God, we give you thanks. We give you thanks for this amazing day. We give you thanks so much for the gift of your son Jesus and for the gift of forgiveness and love. We know that no matter what happens, you will always love us and forgive us. And for that, we are truly grateful. Help us to love others as you love us. May we show them grace, love, and forgiveness. We ask all of this in Jesus' name. And all of God's people said, Amen. See you next week, friends. Hey there, everyone. Good morning. And to go along with Kim's uh, message that she brings us today from the book of Matthew, I want you to remember that when you get in a bad mood, to remember that you are a gentle, loving person, and you are a child of God, and that you can join hands together with everybody and praise His name. And so today we're going to sing a song that we've done before, but we're going to do it again, and I'll have the words on the bottom for you so you can follow along. But the song is called Gentle Loving People, and I want you to remember that you are a gentle loving person. So let's sing.
children of one God. Here we go. We are children of one God. We are singing, singing for our Lord. We are children of one God. We are singing, singing for our Lord. So I hope you enjoyed the song today. Remember that when you get mad or when you get in a cranky mood and you're mad at somebody, that you are a gentle, loving person and that you are loved by Jesus. So have a great Sunday, everyone.